Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use one of our photogrammetry tools, Click Place Branch, which allows you to add procedural branches to an imported custom mesh. I already imported the mesh and its textures and applied the stitches in another tutorial. So now I'm just going to show you how to add Click Place Branches. In my Generation Editor, I right-click, go to Add Geometry, and then the Photogrammetry Group Generator. There you'll find the Click Place Branches template which is a target and branch generator already set up so you can easily start adding your branches onto your mesh. Now to add a branch, hold down the space bar and click a spot on the area that you wish for the branch to be placed. You'll notice as I continue to add branches, they'll grow in the direction of the viewport camera. The spheres that appear with the branches are the targets, which are used to precisely locate the children off of a parent. In this case, it's the branches from your custom mesh. In the target generator, there are a lot of properties that will help you orient and place your branch. In the target settings group, you have your style, which sets the type of target you want to use. In this template, the style is set to laser, which is a ray that is cast out from the target to tag a point on your mesh. The second style you may use frequently is closest point. This is when the closest point on the parent mesh to the target icon is used for child or branch generation. Under that is the point group, which allows you to select an axis to point and a location to point it towards. Then there is the align group, which lets you select an axis to align and what to align it to. Basically, it controls the orientation of the target locations. So for example, if you look at my mesh, it is oriented on the Z axis. So my axis is set to Z, and I want it to point from the targets. For these branches, I want it to align on the Y axis based off my mesh's orientation. So object Z is selected. One way to demonstrate how this affects the placement of the branches is by altering the star angle property. You will notice that as I change the line axis, the start angle behavior would change as well. The last thing I want to cover is how to weld branches to your custom mesh. To enable welding, just click the branch generator, go to the skin group, and click the enable checkbox. You may notice that some of your branches didn't weld. This may be because of a number of things, such as the radius being too big, the welding distance, or the placement of the branch. Something else to keep in mind when placing branches with welding enabled is where the text cord seams are located. You want to avoid placing the branch on the text cord seam because it will cause texture stretching, streaks, or gaps on the welding point, just like you see here. You can see where the text cord seams are by going to View, Other, and selecting the Text Cord Seams option. You can fix these by switching to the Node Edit mode and adjusting the branch's position by clicking on and moving that branch's target. Now I'm just going to fix some of these welds. Okay, once I'm happy with my main branches, I can then continue to build my model using procedural branches. And here's what the tree looks like after some editing, and now I'm going to turn everything else back on. Well, that is it for this tutorial, and thank you for watching.